Sharif Khan, uh, men's basketball at SPU. Sharif, team's coming off a two-game trip where you split in Alaska. First off in Fairbanks, uh, had a 14-game winning streak. Yeah. Stop. Just talk a little bit about that game. Uh, Fairbanks is a tough one. Uh, like you said, we had that 14-game winning streak going into it. And I think we just we didn't have our best game. You know, it happens. Um, but we bounced back on Saturday and a good win. So I think that short-term memory served us well. And even though we lost, we split. Um, so we made the most of that. Sure did. That was really an impressive bounce back against a very good Anchorage team. Uh, kind of game you must love, where they love to shoot threes and you guys a lot too. Yeah. Pretty wide open game. Do you enjoy that style of play? Yeah, yeah, it's fun. Uh, Anchorage, they move with a pace that I have honestly never like played against before. They run up and down the court extremely fast. They're, um, just their offense is constant movement. Um, anyone off the bench is coming in, they're running. So it's a pretty fun, fast-paced game. Uh, it's pretty exciting to watch and play. In the first half, a real key stretch. Uh, you hit back-to-back. -back. You hit back-to-back -back threes. One from the deep left corner, and the other from the yeah. deep right. How is that the most difficult spot to hit a three from? Um, I think it just depends on who you are. Uh, it's the shortest three-point line um, across the arc. Some people like that. Growing up, I never liked the corners, but I think being college, a lot of my shots come from there, and so I've gotten used to it. And do you have a preference, like if if uh, someone would say you have to make this shot, would you pick the left or right corner? Left corner. Left corner. Yeah. Very nice. Um, shooting's always been part of your game, but other aspect, I, I, um, I guess people would say you're really active. I say well, I'd say pesky would be the term I'd use. Yeah. And look, if you um, are leading the team with 22 steals, you have four block shots. Has that always been part of your game, being that active? Yeah, I think so. Um, I play squash, racket sport, and so that's kind of like my family background. And so I think playing that racket sport gives me quick hands, and so. I think I've just tried to use that to the best of my ability in basketball. Um, a lot of that comes on defense with kind of reaching when I can, being smart about it, and just getting deflections. Well, it's really working. Quick Thank hands you. in the active. Uh, one thing I want to ask about the Anchorage game, um, the reserves, the bench players, uh, only combined for two points in the Fairbanks game. Yeah. Come back Saturday at Anchorage, score 29 points. Yeah. Yeah, you had a great game. Um, how did that come about? Why was the reserve so effective against Anchorage? Um, like you said, uh, our bench play on Thursday against Fairbanks wasn't great, and so I think we came out with the mindset of we have to prove ourselves, um, just help the starters out, um, and it just wasn't a good feeling on Thursday knowing we didn't contribute to the best of our ability, and so we really wanted to do that on Saturday. Great. Well, now you enter a stretch where you play four games in eight days. Yeah. Good news is the first three of those are at home. Yeah. How do you handle a stretch like this where uh, that's a lot of games in the short span? Yeah, I think preparation is big. Uh, just being mentally focused during practice and film. Uh, even weights, just being smart with your body. Uh, knowing when to push yourself. And also, I think the coaches do a great job of tapering back on practices, knowing that we have so many games in a short amount of time. Uh, so just staying focused mentally, I think, is the biggest part of that. How helpful is it that this is your second swing through a league? Um, so you've had these kind of reports uh, yeah. before, or do you even remember them for the yeah. first time around? Um, I think especially the upperclassmen who have played against these teams for multiple years and seen guys over and over, uh, you kind of have it down, but it's, all, it's always nice to go over scout because you never know during a year who's going to step up, um, team lineups change, but it kind of sticks with you remembering the first time you played them in the year. Um, but the film sessions are definitely a big time going into it again. Well, that stretch starts uh, Thursday at home here at uh, Brome Pavilion, 7.30 against Western Oregon. Yeah. That game went overtime. Yeah. Uh, you, were, you overcame 11-point second-half deficit. What do you remember about that game? Um, they're good. They have a lot of weapons. Uh, the biggest thing that sticks out to me is their defense. They pressure the ball a lot, and they kind of just want to get out and pass the lanes. Um, and that kind of ignites their offense. So just taking care of the ball is going to be a big part of this game. Great. Let's quickly just talk about yourself. Tell us where you're from. I'm from Bellevue, Washington. Yep. And uh, if you were to hop in your car at home in Bellevue, drive to campus, how long would that take you? 25 minutes at most. Very nice. Uh, without traffic, I assume. Yeah, without yeah. traffic. Good old Seattle traffic. Yeah. Uh, what are you majoring in? Uh, business management. And what do you see yourself, uh, how do you see yourself using that? Um, I'm not sure, to be honest. Uh, I want to get into like my family business squash, uh, whether that's kind of 
promoting squash and bringing it more to the U.S. It's not, it's not as big here, um, but putting on tournaments uh, with professional players. So something in that realm. Okay. So how does the North in squash? How does the Northwest compare? Is it would it be a hotbed or not as much interest as other parts of the country? I would say on the West Coast, Washington, Seattle, in particular is the biggest it is because of my family. We, my grandpa brought it. Pretty much brought squash from Pakistan um, when he moved here and kind of developed a big community. Um, it's pretty big in the East Coast, uh, but the U.S. in general, it's squash is like the least popular versus like overseas. Sure. Uh, yeah. Last thing, if the Khan family had a squash tournament, uh, who's going to win that? I would say right now my brother Salim. He goes. He's playing at George Washington. Uh, he's the top player in the nation. Um, but if my dad and my uncle, my aunts, if they were in their prime, it would be tough. In their prime, actually. Yeah. How about right now, you and your brother? Could you make it interesting, or is he blowing I away? I would love to say I can make it interesting, but I think he'd, he'd beat me pretty handily. Very nice. Great. Sharif, thanks for your time, um, and good luck this week. Thank you.